So today we're gonna be checking out an awesome car here in BMG Drive. It's called the Charrier Emusier. Sounds pretty French. And yeah, not only are we gonna be checking out this car, we're gonna be putting it through its paces because all the traffic in the game hates us and we must escape it by any means possible. So before we start the chase here, we want to check this mod out. So this is your normal Charrier that you're all used to seeing in the game. Well, essentially this mod uh, creates a sedan version of it, but not only does it like recreate a lot of the configurations from the base game version, it adds some, and honestly, this is one of the coolest cars I've seen here in BMG Drive. Like, we need more sedans other than the big, fat American one that we have in the game. So I've grabbed a couple of the configurations here. You've got a race one. You've got the, I think it's called the Arsenic. We've got the French Resident, which uh, looks a little questionable. And then they even have police variants to this vehicle. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you some of these. Also, once again, thanks to Shadows for showing me the mod. And there's some other mod creators that I've listed down below. And this vehicle's linked down below if you want to go to download it. So, I mean, we got to start here real quick because I just want to wrap this one around the tree. So we're going to go ahead and fire up here. Look at the screens in this thing. It's actually pretty crazy. Okay, so let's fire it up. Uh, okay, so we got our oh man, that's actually really nice uh, the little GPS screen It almost seems a little too nice for this particular version of it. I feel like the screen should be broken um, Because this vehicle is obviously kind of ratted out But I really just wanted to point out like some of the different versions and I mean you have to check this thing out And I think I have to put this one into a wall there we go. Yeah, you got your police variant. Uh, definitely a much more luxurious trim in here. I love the leather seats. Uh, man, it, the quality of this is just top notch. And then if we swap over to the race one, which we'll probably use this one maybe for the chase, that and the next one we're checking out. You got the race dash here. You've got the uh, steering wheel. You got the full cage, stripped down doors, uh, deleted seats. You got your race seat here. Oh, let's light this one up real quick. Uh, oh, I mean, it's so freaking cool looking. Uh, yeah, it does. As far as handling characteristics, it handles pretty similar to the Charrier. I would say, oddly enough, like, I like this one a little bit better. And I, I can't really... Uh, maybe it's just one of those things where it's new and fresh. But for some reason, I just like driving this one around. I think it's the whole fact that I like the sedan look a little bit better, especially on the race cars. So, yeah, definitely I think this one's going to work pretty well for the chase. Which, by the way, you're going to see more of this car. Uh, we're going to probably do some multiplayer with it. Uh, this is the one that I'm probably most excited about. Uh, it's called the Arsenic. Look at the inside of this. The, the nice stitching uh, with the green. You got the green dash. Uh, even the uh, cluster gauge up there has got green in it. All right, so you got to turn that traction control off. Here we go. And light it up. And Oh, yes. Now, that it's not a race car. But, man, if I were to have a street version of this, it would... I mean, you'd have to go with this version, right? Oh... Uh, Oh, it is lovely. Spin it around. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should start in this. So we can always upgrade to like more race car variants, maybe the hill climb variant, but I think we could start in this one. So my objective is simple. We've got to go here from the airport. We must make it all the way over to the town up in the mountains. That is a good ways to go. Whenever I've spawned in it, I think it's like 20 AI traffic cars and they're all going to be aggroed on me. So uh, we should probably get this challenge moving, but definitely go check out uh, this car. You're going to see it more in videos. Okay, I'm going to turn the AI to chase me as soon as I get out of the airport. I don't want to get myself stuck here and we're ready to go. Oh, buddy, this is going to be tough. And they're set to chase me. All right. Oh, my goodness. They're already crashing up there. Okay. Oh, yeah, buddy. Uh, good luck keeping up with this. I mean, it's not like the fastest in a straight line, but the handling. Oh, it's chef's kiss. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's watch out. You know what? We're just going to take this outer part here. Like I was saying, that's the one thing I love about setting the traffic to like chase you. They, they're not like cops. Like they're just going to go off-roading whatever path is quickest to get to you. Oh, jeez. Oh, and I think I'm out of, uh, wait, are we good? Okay. I, I hit the curb pretty bad there, but I think it's actually held up. My goodness. They're just speeding around this corner. I should have taken the highway. Maybe we should 180 it. All right, we're just going to whip back this way. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Okay, we're just going to avoid everybody on this side. No, 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 no. I'm grinding Tony Hawk style on the uh, curb here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude, I watched that one slide around that corner. Okay, back it up, back it up. 
Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, we're good. Um, totally good. Uh, fuel tank okay? I think it is. No, I think it just kind of crushed in the uh, exhaust. Uh, damage model on this is great. There we go. Come on, we need to get to the highway. That was a big collision it took in the rear. I, definitely something's off with the steering, but uh, we're fine. You know what? We should probably go this way. Less traffic. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm going to die here. Oh, this. Yep. Okay. Come on. Nope. This has gone swell so far. You know, if I would have taken this road in the first place, we'd have a chance to. Oh, my goodness. I had no turning ability there. Well, like I said, there's your damage model. Oh, my goodness. Yep. No, this is great. All right. We're going to give the Arsenic one more attempt here just because it's a joy to drive. Yeah, honestly, it feels like the perfect amount of power. Like, it's not overdone to where it's like Will Spin City. And yeah, the turning's nice. Like, everything about this, like, I cannot, like, explain to you guys, like, how fun this is to drive. All right. There we go. Now we got, oh, okay. We can actually see what this bad boy's got here on the highway. We got room and we got speed here. Look at this. Man, if we get hit once here, we are dead. Like, we are so dead. Oh, this is good, though. I mean, it's insane. Oh, okay. I was going to, like, praise its grip, and then it jumped sideways there. Like, it's got grip. It's not, like, got big wing and splitter grip, but uh, for a street car like this, very nice grippy sedan. Okay, we better start slowing down. I got to peel off to the right here in a second. Okay. Uh, they don't seem to be as aggroed on the highway. Oh, no, they're starting to turn over. Okay, we got to go this way. Okay, this will get us up to the town. Oh, I hate the tight roads on this map. I mean... It's great, and it's realistic, but uh, for this style of chase, this is a, probably a mistake. All right, slide to the right. Okay, and then we're going to go to the left here. Tell you what, uh, it, the BMG like, modding scene has been on fire as of recent with this vehicle, and oh my goodness, the rush that we checked out the other day uh, been absolutely amazing. Also, why do they have this big of curbs here? Oh, there goes the exhaust. What well, sounds louder now? To believe people pay to make their exhaust louder. Just give me a, a, like a curb like this, and oh my goodness, just a little bit of your time. Uh, I could get it done. How far did we make it that time? Like, are we any? I mean, we're not that far. Is that the whole fact? I think it was on the wrong set of roads. Like, eh, it's not that big of a distance. All right. Well, I think we need to go a little faster. Okay, got to pick my poison here. I'm actually kind of liking this asphalt version of the rally. Oh my goodness. It's an aggressive wing on the back of it. Yeah, I just, I cannot get over like how good the sedan version of this looks. Like I, I've always liked the front end. Uh, I'm not like a huge hatchback person or big fat bubbled rear end, but I like this. Like cutting that roof down and making it in a sedan is awesome. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay, on throw it sideways. Yeah, oh that this feels good. Uh, like you're able to get this one sideways, but it does eventually like hook, and then you're just like good to go. Also, the diffuser on this thing is ridiculous looking. All right, let's get out of the airport. Uh, I think we're gonna go a little farther down the highway. Oh, he's gonna merge into us. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, just use the shoulder again. There we go. All right, this is past where we were earlier. Uh, gas it back up. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Oh my goodness. Uh, back in's dancing around a little bit. Love the backfire noises here too. Okay, we're going in the tunnel. We want to get out the other end. That way we can start to head up the hill. Uh, oh jeez. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Uh, got quite a bit more grip than the last one. I'm sure the big splitter, diffuser, wing, all the arrows helping. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, that was pretty aggressive right there. All right. Yeah, it's always better if you can pick up more speed because the AI has less of a chance of reacting and running right into you. Okay, the town is right up there. Uh, we're almost to our escape point. What are they doing? Oh, no, I think they're trying to turn around here. Oh, they're blocking the road. Okay, hold on. Go inside. Uh, okay, this is where it's going to get a little bit tighter. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit of a bump there. Uh, let's go hide off. Is this a dead end back here? No, it's not. Okay, watch out, everybody. Oh, just ran over a couple things. It's fine. Uh, we're getting close to the road that we need to be on in order to make it up to that town. Of course, then you have like a traffic jam like this, and it's just a nightmare. All right, go around this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was close right there. All right, we need to pick up some speed. Uh, like I said, they don't react as good when you pass by to... Uh oh All um, All right. Well, it is a rally car. I mean, it's an asphalt rally car, but I'm sure it'll handle this. All right, let's cut through here, and let's see if we can maybe go up the back end uh, of the town here. Oh, I got a big goofy grin on my face. This is fun. <laughs> I like this car. You know, I could just show the, the mod off normally, but 
It seems like if I have like a challenge in mind with it, I think it highlights uh, some of the driving of, well, not my driving ability. Uh oh, as soon as I start talking about my ability, I crash. But yeah, we're just showing the performance of the vehicle off. And oh my goodness, it's sunburst out of nowhere. No, 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 we're not ending this here. Uh, I, okay, I still got it in me here. Oh, there's a reason we got a roll cage in here. Oh my goodness, dude, it's like gone to pure aggression on this corner. Can I, I need them to clear out. All right, I guess we're going back this way. Uh, maybe that traffic jam is cleared out because, uh-oh, 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 on, on, get down in the field. There we go. I saw those cars coming around that corner there, and I was like, this is going to be way too tight for us both to fit through. There we go, back over the bridge. Oh my goodness, more traffic's coming. Ooh, they've already crashed over there. All right, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's going to slide. Let's overtake, get back onto the road here. Oh, man. Yeah, he doesn't get much better as far as driving experiences. This car has got it. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yep, yep, the drive shaft, or the half shaft is broken. Oh, we're just gonna roll down the, wait. Okay, I can still somewhat turn. It's the left front that isn't doing the turning thing anymore, but the right front is carrying the car at the moment. Dude, we're right here. Actually, it might be better to go up through this way. The AI might have actually done me a, uh, a solid there. Speaking of, they're driving in the grass behind me. I mean, technically, we're in the town. Like, this counts, doesn't it? Like, we're in the town, and we're just in the, I guess, what used to be like a, a river or something? Uh, I never configured this area out. I, I'm assuming it's like a river. There might be a road to actually get us up on top of this. Uh, look back, the AI getting through here? Uh, I don't think so. Ah, it's just... It's so lovely. All right, I feel like we got to test some more of this car out. All right, so here we are at the racetrack. Uh, we've completed our challenge, but I want to try out a couple more variants. And I think the hill climb uh, variants are some of my favorite ones in BMG Drive. Uh, very zippy, tons of grip. So let's go ahead and light it up here. Uh, this thing looks cool. And oh, there we go. We got some good speed, good acceleration starting off. But the grip, like, it's not kicking out anymore. Like, it's just pure grip. Maybe it, almost a little bit too much grip. Oh, there we go. Is that going to get it a little bit sideways there? Oh, we're going to get it really sideways here around the grass. Huh? We're just going to slide around the corner. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Actually, let's go to manual gears here. There we go. That way, maybe we can grab a gear if we get sideways. And, yeah, a little bit of understeer, but it, it's fantastic. Like, it's really predictable. Also, very good top speed. Uh, coming up through here. Uh, I'm gonna let off a little bit if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've driven this track. Yeah, I definitely think we would have ended up in the barrier over there. Pretty decent braking zone here. Let's go down a couple of gears. Oh, and then it just tightens up at the end of the corner. Yep, completely missed the apex there. Man, just the pickup on this. Ah, it sounds so good. Okay, navigate the chicane here. Very nice. Oh, and real quick, inside this one, oh, this one actually keeps, like, the dash and stuff. It doesn't have that little, uh, race cluster, uh, right above the wheel, like the, uh, one of the other ones did. Uh, oh, let's just throw it sideways. Oh, jeez, okay, that did not, nope, that didn't work. Oh, that was actually a satisfying crunch when it hit there. I lost the back wheel. Oh, that was good. So I feel like it'd be a disservice if we didn't just like check out uh, more of a normal version. So this is called the Vacation Edition. And yes, there is a trailer hitch on the back of this one. So uh, a little travel trailer would be kind of fun. Hold on, how does it slide though? Uh, oh, geez. Okay, uh, it still slides. I'll throw it sideways, use a little bit of handbrake. Uh, you know, it's still got an incredible amount of grip, even with traction control and all that off. Granted, this is more of a civilian version of it, not quite as fast. Uh, but still a blast to drive. Like, it feels good. It's a little refreshing. Uh, I've got to talk to Shadows, but I'm pretty sure this thing's definitely lighter than the Bastion. You know, I feel like it'd be a shame if we didn't use that hitch in the back. See, so yeah, we're going to be towing this mall security one. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Yeah, let's see what kind of towing power this thing's got. All right, so we got our trailer. Haven't hooked it up yet. Let's go ahead and just uh, get this down and ready. All right, we're going to clear it. There it goes. Uh, I love the enclosed trailer. It's just such a nice thing that Beam and G's added here. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in reverse. And we need to hook up real quick. There we go. 
All right, about to test the towing power. Uh, let's put it in park real quick, and then let's get the uh, mall security one loaded up. I think it'll load up in here. Uh, I mean, I have to take the mirrors off. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a chunky boy, but uh, it's fine. Parking brake on, and turn her off. There we go. Oh, does the door still shut? Uh, we're about to see. I'm hoping it still latches here. Okay. Put that on there. Well, would you look at that? It's uh, good to go. <laughs> She's setting a little low now. <laughs> She's dragging. Okay, let's see. What about the towing? <laughs> you know, when it said vacation edition, probably thinking like a very small, like little trailer with maybe some of your luggage, uh, maybe a tent or something. But it's got the power. I just need to probably stiffen up the rear springs just a little bit and shocks because uh, it is a little bit draggy. You know, surprisingly, it's doing a really, really good job. I, I like this. I like this mod. This is like one of those mods that is just going to stay installed. Like, I'm going to have it in my game, and you're probably going to see a lot more of it. Like I said, we're going to do some multiplayer with it soon. Uh, but I feel like I need to put this into the wall real quick. We're going to see if our trailer can have a baby. Slide it. Oh, jeez. Oh, and, you know, surprisingly, that held up well. Oh, can we speed right away? Oh, no, the trailer's dragging. Hold on, we need to check the damage real quick. Um, how are we looking back here with the ball security? Oh, we lost a latch. Uh-oh, the door's not opening anymore. Uh, might have to force it open. Hold on, what about the side door? Oh, side door. <laughs> side door just came off. Oh, no, it looks great. Uh, completely fine. But yeah, if you want to check out this mod, link down in the description. Uh, thanks to Shadows for showing it to me. And thanks to the others that helped make this mod happen.